Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be reviewing what to do if your IQ Panel 4 screen is blank. Uh, there's going to be a few reasons for this, mainly power. Uh, when you first install the system, sometimes it can take a bit of time to power on as well. Uh, and there's also a very simple photo frame feature, which is essentially a screensaver for the system. So we'll go over each. Uh, I'll show you what to check for those to get the screen back on and your system in a working order. Okay, so here we have our IQ Panel 4. Uh, as you can see, the screen is blank, but we do have two LEDs on top indicating that we do have power to the system. Uh, so the first uh, option I'll show you for troubleshooting this is to simply tap on the screen. So as you see, the screen was working, the system is in a functioning order. Uh, it was just blank due to the photo frame feature, which I'll be showing in a second. And then uh, real quick, so say you have this on and you press the power button that's located on the right hand side. It will turn the screen off. You can either press that power button again or just tap the screen like we did before to get that back on. Uh, now the photo frame feature, it's essentially a screensaver for the system as I mentioned. You can check this pretty simply. You'll just want to press the top gray bar, go to photo frame. You're going to see a settings option on the right hand side. And then we're going to scroll down until we see display type. So this is essentially saying what's going to show when the timer up here uh, basically goes down and the screen shuts off. So display type, we have it set to off. So that's going to be the blank screen. You can change this to photo frame. So pictures will show instead of the blank screen, or you can do weather clock. So it's going to show you weather and the time instead of a blank screen as well. So if you don't want it to be just blank, just set it to either photo frame or weather clock. Okay, so that's the photo frame feature. Very easy to troubleshoot. Uh, now, some other things that you can check if your panel is a blank screen and tapping on it or pressing the photo, the, uh, the power button does not work, then you'll wanna check the power for the system. So I'm just gonna turn the system around here. Now, there is gonna be the backup battery power, which has a wire plugging right into the side of the panel. And we also have a barrel connector, which is gonna be our main power supply. Now, before, uh, when we had the system turned around, you saw the two LEDs on top. That's a good indicator that there is power to the system. But if you're not seeing those LEDs, or if you just wanna check, just take the back plate off the panel. You'll wanna remove the mounting screw first. Back plate will then just come off simply. Make sure that the barrel connector is secured and also the backup battery as well. So this is nice and secured. This is nice and secured. We checked our transformer at the outlet. That's secured and functioning as well. So checking the power is also another good thing to check for the screen. And then those LEDs I mentioned on the front, that's a good indicator on if there is a power issue or not. Now with the IQ4, uh, when you first power it on, sometimes it can take some time for it to initially power up. When you first plug it in, these two LEDs will be flashing blue. And then if you press the power button, maybe it doesn't come on. You're not sure if there's an issue with the system. A couple things you can do is if you can wait about 30 minutes, that's gonna allow the backup battery to charge enough to function. And also just make sure you have your AC, uh, your power connector as well. And then if you press the power button or you don't wanna wait the 30 minutes and it's not coming on, you can simply press the power button about five or six times in quick succession. And that's gonna power the system on. It'll go through its booting process, go through its startup screens. And then once you're finished with all that, you get to this screen, you can start using the panel as is. Okay, so that's what to do if your panel has a blank screen. Uh, as you saw, it's not too difficult to troubleshoot this, so fairly simple. Uh, but if you did have any questions about that, feel free to call us at 888-818-7728. We have an email support line as well. Our email address is support at alarmgrid.com. And we also have a online chat on our website, uh, which is www.alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to ring the notification bell and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified for any new videos that we have. And thank you for watching. My name again is Dylan from Alarm Grid and hope you have a great day.